Hey everyone and welcome back. Today for your, um, well mine, <laughs> for my Build Your Stash collaboration, I'm going to show you guys confetti. Um, pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory, but um, I'm just going to show you. I already made a bunch and this is for Halloween. Um, there's um, a darker purple. I thought I put two purples in here. Nope, maybe I didn't. Okay, so just a dark purple, a black metallic, which is really cute. A little bit of green, just a very few pieces in there. And then the orange, and then I put some gold and black stars in there. Super, super cute. Um, I put a lot of black stars in there, but because of the black paper, you can hardly see the black stars. Like when you're not like sitting here actually looking, you can't see them. So I decided to put the gold in there. Um, I think the gold screams Halloween more. But for that, all you're going to need is whatever color tissue paper you want. Um, I use this bowl to catch it. And then I got this confetti punch um, weeks ago, probably like two, three months ago at Tuesday morning. And this is what I use. Before that, um, I use like handheld punches um, like these ones here. And then I also use this butterfly punch every once in a while. Um, there's other little punches that you can use. Like here is a... Oop, dropping stuff a flower punch and then here's another flower punch I also had like a regular um, handheld punch that did maybe a half inch circle or an inch circle um, I think an inch is probably too big it's probably like a half an inch circle but um, and I would do those two to make bigger um, bigger ones in there um, I'm not too sure I have any left anymore of the big ones that punch actually broke it was an old one and it broke and I was so mad yeah, I don't have any left to show you how big they were, but that's what I use. You can use anything you want, any style of punch. You can use butterfly punches, heart punches, anything you want. It's all up to you, but self-explanatory, put it in here, punch it out, and here we go. That's all I did. Different colors. So I don't need to show you guys that because, like I said, it is self-explanatory, and sometimes, like I said, I do use my butterfly punches depending on what I work with. Um, these metallic stars that actually came from a friend of mine, they actually carry them at uh, Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree seems not to carry them. I even still seen them on their website as something that they carry, and mine doesn't have it. They had just black and red, and then they had like confetti hats, that was it. They didn't have any other colors, stars, but they have silver, gold, red, black, and maybe some other colors, I don't know. But that's where they came from. Um, and in this one I use gold and in this one um, I didn't put gold or silver in there I tend to do that but it depends on what project I'm using if I'm using silver in that project or gold I will stick those in here uh, also depending like if somebody wants me to make them some some happy mail I'll also ask what colors and I'll pre make it for them but anyway this is the one that I made because Halloween is right around the corner I love Halloween and so that's what I did and we're gonna use a washi tube this is a great idea to send a bunch of confetti. Um, not something you have to do. You can put it in a bag. I've done that before. You can put it in like little tubes. I have a bunch of little tubes from like nail art brushes that I tend to use. Just depending. But for this being, um, since I know that Halloween is right around the corner, I want to send a bunch because they're probably not going to all use this at one time. Like they would normally use something else. That they will be able to use this tube a couple times uh, on their projects either this year or even next year. So I like to make sure um, when I send stuff that I send a lot. So um, I do put, after I cut all my confetti and stuff, I do put it in a plastic bag as you see here um, to help mix it up. I say um a lot. I'm trying so hard not to. Uh, to help mix it up and I'll put some air in there and I'll just shake it. So after I've, you know, punched all this, I'll put the the gold confetti in there and I'll make sure there's air in there and I'll just shake it really, really good to help the confetti break up. I feel like there's no right way to do this. There never is. Definitely don't think that's going to be it. We are just, like I said, sticking it all in there. Good way to reuse your washi tubes, because if you guys are like me, I have a washi tube holder. Um, before I got the washi tube holder, I actually had them all in like a certain box. So that way I could just grab one thing and go. This is going to make such a mess.
whatever. It'll be a pretty mess, right? Uh, something else to keep in mind is that some of the washi tubes do have a hole at the bottom. Can you guys see that? Probably not. My camera wants to focus somewhere else. There's a hole right here. See? So if there's a hole in the bottom of your washi tube, just cut a circle out or, you know, hand cut it out or whatever. Punch it out and just put a little bit of glue and it'll stay right there in the bottom. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, so there that we had, um, that wasn't too big of a mess. Go ahead and swipe that into my hand and put that in there. Okay. So here's our washi tube of really cute confetti. And then you can just decorate it however you want. I have some fun oops, trim that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this purple one. It's a little bit darker than the confetti, but oh well. It is what it is. But this, like, I think it's called Clifton trim. Doesn't that say that on here somewhere? I believe it's called Clifton trim. It just says decorative trim. I thought it was called Clifton for some reason. Um, maybe online when you're looking at it, it's called Clifton trim, but... I have some of this, so you're just going to take your tube and you're just going to measure out about that much, you know. Um, I'm not going to give dimensions because everybody's washi tube might be different sizes or whatever you're working with will be different sizes. So I'm just going to cut about that much. <laughs> Eyeball it. You can always cut off the excess later. And like I said, I am going to use this dark plum color. It's super pretty. And I got it just for Halloween. I actually got that. Um, a while ago and then we can get some double-sided tape or glue I'm just gonna make sure it is gonna fit and I'm gonna use my double-sided tape I'm just gonna run it around here and cut it I'm gonna do that twice or if you have really you know um, big fat tape that works also you can also use hot glue if you want I'm just going to do that again. And then I'm going to peel this off, which always takes forever and a day. Okay, there's one. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. Oh, my oven's going off. And we're just going to sit it right about where we want it. Let's just go right in the middle. And then wrap it up and over. Wrap it up and over. And then squeeze really, really good. And then you can cut off the little excess right here. Not excess, excess. Make sure you don't cut this other trim. There we go. And there we go. You can keep it just like that. But I do have some um, black trim that I'm going to put on it also. And I think I might use these pom-poms. These came from Michael's when they had that huge sale like, I don't know, six months ago, maybe longer. Once again, I'm just going to see how much I need. I'm going to put those right in the middle. And I'm just going to cut about that much, you know. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my double-sided tape right in the middle of this and the fun thing about this is is there is a middle it's already like stitched right in the middle perfectly for my size tape so that helps me tremendously Got a little bubble there. I'm gonna push it in there really really good my double-sided tape seems to stick really really well to this trim stuff I've been using it on all my projects this week I've been using the pink trim and the mint trim, but this double-sided tape, I'm running out, guys. This is all I have left, and I went to my Joann's to find some. Doesn't have it, and my dollar, she doesn't have it either, so. Oh my goodness, it's so sticky. Okay. I have just like a little pin here that helps me pick it up. Not that it wants to. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. There. 
and I'm gonna find that same spot where we stopped which is right here which is the back and I'm actually gonna put my my starting spot there and then oh my goodness my nail stuck to it and then I'm just gonna follow my tape all the way around if you wanted to add some spooky stickers, you could. You guys can add whatever you want. But for me, I'm going to call that done. It's super cute. I could also add some trim from the top, but I'm not going to do that. So you guys could add stickers here or anything to make it more Halloween-like. But that's all I'm doing. Oh, I should probably cut off that excess here, huh? Excess. Why do I keep saying excess? Like, it's coming out weird when I say it. Oh, it just I just put it down. Push it down. Really good. Oh, there we go. Okay, and then this is my... Um, build your stash collaboration for this Monday and um, you guys can do these in all sorts of colors like I said I have a bunch always on hand especially in like the pink mate white I have a lot that way I can always grab it and go put it in any happy mail or anything everybody loves confetti and it takes so little time to make confetti at home so go ahead and um, check out all the girls who are in it and all their links are in the description box I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for stopping at Mandy's place have a great day bye